hi everyone and welcome back so these are some of the add-ons in this video we are talking about okay how you can do the health check how you can do the log tracing and all these things for your node.js microservice right so if you are deploying your application on heroku then heroku provides provides you all these different things log entries you can check to get the logs liberto is used for checking the health of your application and new relic apm is used for application performance monitoring I, I hope you heard about new relic key matrix these are the different tools okay at the code level what you need to do in your code you can also introduce the logger module like uh, nest js role bar that is used for proper error reporting so there is a nest js role bar you can search it and then this in npm module you can introduce in your application and you have to do something like this logger module dot for root that's it so just get the key roll bar key and introduce this in your module and for this what you need to do is go to your code any of the application let's say this one inside src there is an app module we have and inside this you can actually import this particular thing and logger module you have to import from nest.js roll bar okay this is a simple setup this is how you can you can set up the logging first of all introduce this uh, module and then at the application level like inside your services inside your controllers you can inject the role bar and start handling the errors so what you can do is you can inject the role bar you can inject this logger service and then this dot logger so let's do this so this is we have added in the entity module now let's say i have a node service and i think that okay this can break the save stuff then first of all i will do the dependency injection of roll bar and then roll bar dot log inside the catch block we can we can handle all these things we can wrap this thing inside a try catch okay if any of the exception is happening then we just want to log it so we can we can see okay what is happening with this particular method so this is our catch and inside catch we can define this role bar stuff like save note and what is the service name note service right so in the role bar console we should be able to see all these things okay what is the error from which particular service and we are not stopping the error we will just throw it from here here we stopped only to just uh, catch the error and log it so we will have a record somewhere okay this particular error has been thrown from here same thing you will add role bar logger you can import uh, from this particular library only nest js uh, role bar role bar logger okay and then uh, you have to install install this dependency also so what you need to do is inside this folder which is what is application 8 npm install minus minus save nest js rule bar okay and it will resolve everything so this is how we are going to work on the logging part and you can also use a winston module of node.js to write it to a, a console stream uh, or write it to some other target maybe a, a log test you can write and then it will can be visualized through the kibana okay this is about the logging part you can also have your custom logger which is created i think we are also having some logger module here and you can define your own log levels and uh, through this logging also you can just define you can also show some messages okay this is a particular error happened this is just a typescript that will get resolved to so add the health checks okay we are using app controller here we can use this terminus module which is provided by provided by nest.js only so we can import these stuffs we can inject these things inside the constructor like if you wanted to get the health of database that also we can do 
so inside the controller we have we can have the constructor and inside the constructor we can define the dependency okay here we will be passing all the arguments we have like uh, typo rm and health check and what we will do is we will just add the health check annotation here in the health check route this is the one thing we have to do and then we can just do the health check and log it we are going to return the health check status write this dot health dot check and it is going to ping the database and if everything is good it will say okay i'm connected to database and everything is good and healthy so this is how you can do the health check you can do the error reporting load tracing all these things you can embed it in your uh, microservice you can introduce the new relic you can introduce the other third party services to do the performance monitoring and the api monitoring of your services okay that's it guys so this is all about 12 factor application principles we discussed about i hope uh, the next microservice you are going to write either in the express type script or using some framework like nestjs you can you can keep those things in mind and you can introduce all those kind of uh, checks in your microservice okay thanks everyone bye bye